Please welcome the Honorable Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Well, good afternoon, uh, Peter, Glenn, John. Thank you for having me. Uh, looking at these, it's going to be an incredibly uh, exciting race. I'm not sure that I'm capable of entering the race. Um, I would probably design a subway car, which is how I get to work every day. But most people in this country do drive, and it really is important what you're doing, and I think you should all be congratulated. Uh, both um, you, Peter, and you, Glenn, con congratulations you. on doing all of this. You know, um, we really do need some new thinking. We need some innovation. I don't think there's any bigger threat to our world and to our country uh, than global warming and our dependency on oil. And the automobile really is at the root of both of those things. Uh, we desperately need new cars that are clean and efficient and safe. And of course, are also attractive to everyday consumers because if people don't want to buy them, uh, having all the technology in the world doesn't do us any good. We've got to get people to participate and to change their lives and to understand that we have to use less energy and that we have to find alternative energy sources that aren't destroying our planet. And Peter, I just want to thank you and the XPRIZE Foundation for developing this inspiring competition to innovate and change. And uh, uh, Peter, progressive, um, hearing the call and putting up 10 million bucks is exactly the right thing to do. I think it says an awful lot about your company and the people that work there. And uh, you should also know that the X Prize has actually inspired New Yorkers. We have an X Prize New York City has created for the first uh, person that can develop a portable device that will let our police department analyze DNA right at the crime scene, which we think would be uh, a great value in terms of keeping us from arresting the wrong people and making sure we do arrest the right people. And uh, keeping the streets safe is just as important as everything else we do in this city. In New York City, we are striving to be the center of innovation when it comes to the environment. Uh, we, as a city, are per capita very efficient, but the city is of such magnitude, we still produce more greenhouse gases than the entire country of Portugal. So um, you can play with the numbers, but the bottom line is we can do an awful lot of things personally and as a city. Uh, we developed what I think is a bold, forward-looking plan called Plan YC to make New York City a more sustainable city, the world's truly first sustainable city. And at the heart of our plan is the goal to reduce our carbon emissions by 30% by the year 2030. That's not to reduce them 30% from what they would be, that's to reduce them 30% from now. And in the year 2030, we think we'll have a million more people living here. We are working towards that target by seeking cleaner sources of power, making buildings more energy efficient, and among other things, turning our cab fleet green. And to encourage more New Yorkers to buy hybrids, uh, we've even asked our state legislature to let us reduce our city sales tax for highly fuel efficient vehicles. Uh, we're trying to lead by example. We're not asking people to do things that we aren't doing ourselves. We've changed the light bulbs in City Hall, and I've done so in my house. We're changing the fleet of cars and trucks that the city uses to more efficient vehicles. We've changed the rules so that our yellow cabs and black cabs over the next five years will all become hybrids. And there's an awful lot more we can do. We have a program to plant a million trees with public and private money. Trees clean the air and make our neighborhoods more attractive and more valuable. But we're going to keep going, and we think that the X Prize really is something that will help uh, in terms of developing the fuel efficient kinds of vehicles that we need. Not only will somebody come up with ideas how to make automobiles more efficient, but what we care about in the city, we want trucks to be more efficient. They are one of the main polluters on the streets of our city. And uh, we all have an economic problem as well. So if we can save some money at the pump, if we can pollute our environment less, if we can pollute our air, less so that the kids in this city can breathe bigger air, right, cleaner air. Right now, kids in New York City, in many neighborhoods, go to the hospital with asthma attacks at four times the national rate. 
we've just got to do something about that. And uh, we are trying to get our state legislature to let us have congestion pricing, which we think will reduce the number of cars in the street and get us to focus more on mass transit. Mass transit is the future for a city like ours. Automobiles are the future for people that live outside of the big cities. And so both are really key things to do. And I just think that uh, I've always been a capitalist. Uh, I've always been a competitor. And I think uh, combining a real financial prize with the uh, ego that comes across where uh, Cayman is going to bring... Are you, guys, are you entering this? You're entering yourself. Guys like that are the people that are going to make the difference. And so I just wanted to congratulate everyone. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing some of these cars right here in New York City. And uh, we will be cheering you on. And, you know, when I'm done, if you have another X Prize, I'm term limited out in another 22 months. But uh, who's counting? Maybe I'll go and uh, introduce one. Can horses qualify? I have a daughter's a horseback rider. They pollute very little, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, God bless and keep up the good work. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Mark Scheinberg, President of the Greater New York Auto Dealers Association, and Candida Romanelli, the New York Auto Show Director, as well as my automotive team, Don Foley, Kristen Lindsay, John Shore, and Neil Anderson. I'd like to close by saying that today we've done more than just announce a competition. We've issued a challenge to the teams design and enter a vehicle. To the automotive industry and corporations, find new technology for a new century and follow Progressive's lead. To prospective donors and sponsors, help us increase the purse size and support the teams. To decision makers at all levels, join this cause and protect our planet. It's a challenge to every one of us. We face these issues together. We must solve them together. We welcome you along on what's going to be an incredible ride. Thank you so much.